AP Calculus free response example. All right, moving on to part B, we will now find the position of the particle at time is equal to three. Remember, from the beginning, we were given the velocity. What we are now trying to find is the position at t is equal to three. Very important fact, if you're going from velocity to position, there must be an integral involved. This example is a fundamental theorem of calculus question. Moving on to the solution. All right, so we start with this statement here. We're going to integrate our velocity from zero to three. Now, remember, this is a definite integral because we know that it has a lower and upper limit. So the fundamental theorem of calculus says that if we integrate a definite integral, it will give us our antiderivative, right? And this one is going to give us a position now. See, velocity, we integrate, we get a position, but it's going to be the position at three minus the position at zero. There's my three and there's my zero. So the position at three minus the position at zero. So technically it's going to give me the, the displacement between where I started and where I stopped. It's going to give me that displacement. So that's the first step. Next step is we're trying to figure out the position at three, which means this comes that way. So just like in algebra, you can take this minus x at zero and add it over here. And now it's here, plus I have my integral, and now it's going to be equal to the position at three. So once all of this is calculated, that will leave me with my position when at um, t is equal to three. This will give me my position when t is equal to three. All of this will. That's my initial position, and that's given to me already. So now we're going to go into the calculator and get this last value. All right, so in my calculator, I have the velocity function set up. I'm going to my here, and there's the initial position, negative 5. There's my velocity being integrated from 0 to 3. And once it calculates all this, this number is the position at t is equal to 3. So from my starting point all the way down to the bottom, that must be written on paper to receive your full credit for getting a correct answer. All right. So when you're taking an AP exam, there's certain things that you have to communicate on paper to receive your credit. And these are the things that you have to put down for this question in particular to get those points for this portion of the problem. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can pause the screen, use the QR code above to take you directly to my link.